Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks and Real Southern Woman. Um, Chris has gone to a meeting, so my dog's probably going to bark the whole time I'm in the bedroom. She doesn't like for me to be separated from her. Um, but anyway, I hope y'all are having a blessed day. It's Thursday. Weather was gorgeous this morning, but buddy, is it yucky and rainy this evening? Um, our Bible study today is out of Joshua chapter 1, and it's verse 8, and it says, Trustworthy guidance. It says, Study this book of instruction continually. Be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. So, um, that comes out of Joshua. It says, Guidance. It is one of those important things we all long for. We want to take the best path for our lives, the one that leads to success. However, it seems many people ignore or reject the one source for godly direction that never fails. They mistakenly believe that God's word is intended to deny us pleasure or keep us oppressed. However, Nothing could be further from the truth. The Lord has given us scripture for our good. He made us. He understands our limitations, our drives and faults. He recognizes that what, oh, wait a minute. He recognizes what will give us the greatest sense of freedom, fulfillment, purpose, and hope. He also desires to teach us the best way to give and receive love so we can function in a healthy manner. In other words, he has given us his word so that we can experience the fullness of life he has given us. So do not ignore God's, God's word. Embrace scripture and allow him to teach and guide you through it. And it is the path of success for which you long for. Says Jesus, increase my love for you, for your word, and guide me through it. For yours is the only success I truly long for. Today we took May to Mercer University, and it's funny, this is talking about the path of success since we took her to the college today. College is, that college is so different than the one I went to. The one I went to was very simple open, no security, nothing to do for the kids um, because I went to an engineering school. And it was a small one in Marietta at the time. And this is Mercer University. It's not a huge campus, something like Georgia, but it's not a real small campus either. But I really enjoyed the visit there today. Um, I really enjoyed what was there for the kids. They have so many amenities that we never had. It has a gym. It has an indoor pool. It has um, lots of places for them to eat, several different places, not just one place to go get your lunch. Um, what else did it have? It had a wonderful library. And um, so anyway, they do have... Um, some theology and different things there too. But I like to walk in through the old part of the campus and see in the old buildings. And one of the original, the original building for the school uh, was built. I don't even know. It didn't say what year, um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful architectural building with arched windows and it just was gorgeous. And that was the entire school in the beginning. Just that one building. But we really enjoyed ourselves today. But it's funny that it's talking about success here in our Bible study today when we took her to the college today. And it is true because success does come through the Lord and the scripture. Um, we could be as smart as, you know, Einstein or as rich as a king and be very um, sad and lonely and not know where to turn if we didn't have Jesus Christ in our life. Um, having Jesus Christ in our life makes life more abundant. And it helps us overcome the obstacles that we face. Which is really nice because we know that there's always hope. 
And um, we realize that this world and this life is not just about today and ourselves. That's the main thing, is to get the focus off of us and focus on somebody else. And that way we don't feel sorry for ourselves. It makes us happier to help somebody, to be a part of somebody else's life. Um, but it's good to see y'all. I'm really sleepy because we just got home a few minutes ago. I turned on my um, heating pad behind my back and I almost fell asleep. It felt so good and, and I was so tired. So I'm going to go rest. We're going to say our prayers and I'm going to go take a rest. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope y'all had a blessed day. But I walked around the campus today and I'm not used to doing that. Um, so y'all have a, a good evening and we'll say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. I pray that none of us would ignore it and not let it just sit on the table. That all of us will pick it up and read. It would be wonderful if we'd all read several chapters a day. But at least we could read a little bit and talk to you some and let you talk to us. Um, help us to do that, Lord. Help keep everyone safe and our family safe. Um, just bless us as a people um, and help our country and help our military and um, all those in the medical field that work so hard to keep our loved ones um, in good shape. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Patricia. Janine. Kay. Patricia. Garden Obsessions is on here. If y'all haven't watched her show, you need to go watch it, okay? You have to go to YouTube to see it, though. Um, y'all have a beautiful evening. I love you. That's what somebody just said. I love you. And uh, pick up your Bible and read a chapter before you go to bed.